It's been three days since TAM Flight 402 crashed on takeoff. Now, with the help of black box data, investigators may soon know why. The flight recorder has captured dozens of parameters about the Fokker 100 short flight. No, 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 no. But will it be enough to tell them why the plane rolled so suddenly out of control? As they study the data, investigators immediately notice something unusual. Look at engine number two. The power's all over the place. Can you bring up all the data on the thrust reversers? There's another parameter investigators are eager to see. OK, so you, so you saw something moving at the back of the engine. A witness told investigators he saw one of the plane's thrust reversers operating just before the crash. Thrust reversers are buckets deployed on landing to redirect the flow of engine exhaust, pushing it forward to help the plane slow down. Pilots never use them in the air. If a thrust reverser did somehow deploy in flight, it could easily cause the type of steep right rule that doomed Flight 402. For investigators, witness accounts aren't enough. They need hard evidence. They soon find it in the flight data. There. Just after takeoff, the right thrust reverser moves back and forth twice and then stays in the dangerous deployed position. This shouldn't even be possible. Investigators test the actuators that move the reversers, looking for a failure that might explain why one of them opened during flight. But there's no sign of any malfunction. They also test the electronics that detect when the plane's wheels are safely on the ground. They need to check every circuit. The exhaustive effort pays off with the discovery of a faulty sensor. It was failing intermittently, signaling the reverser to open and close. The result was chaos in the cockpit. The sensor failure was intermittent. So, the buckets the buckets open and closed and opened again. But there's one big problem with what investigators have uncovered. The Fokker 100 has an additional safety net that should have kept the plane safe even after the sensor failed. If a faulty thrust reverser deploys on takeoff, power to the affected engine is supposed to drop to idle automatically to prevent the reverser from acting as a brake no alarm sounds in the cockpit, but the safety system kicks in immediately. The pilots don't have to do a thing. The Fokker 100 has more than enough power to climb safely on just one engine. So the question remains, why didn't Flight 402 make it safely away from Congonius?